Jill Sterkel is known as one of the most decorated swimmers of her generation. At the University of Texas, she led the Longhorns to AIAW National Championship titles in 1981 and 1982, winning five individual titles for herself each year. Sterkel swam her first Olympics at the age of 15 as a member of the 4x100-meter freestyle relay. The team not only beat the heavily favored East Germans, but broke their world record to win the American women's lone gold medal at the 1976 Games in Montreal. She served as U.S. team captain in 1980, 84, and 1988, and earned another gold medal and two bronze medals. She returned to Austin in 1992 as the head coach of the women's swimming and diving program at Texas. Her teams had 12 top 10 finishes and claimed 11 conference titles. She was named the Big 12 Women's Swimming Coach of the Year six times before leaving in 2007. Sterkel is now the Assistant Athletics Director for the T Association. She was honored with the Texas X's Distinguished Alumni Award in 1998 and has been inducted into the National High School Sports Hall of Fame, the International Swimming Hall of Fame, and was in the inaugural class of the Texas Women's Athletic Hall of Honor in 2002. Now, Sterkel's accomplishments will find another home in the Texas Sports Hall of Fame. Welcome Hall of Famer Jill Sterkel. All right, so two party fouls here. Uh, I gave my son my phone. He's 11, so that's okay. And it's on mute, um, but my notes were on there. <laughs> and then um, I also have readers these days, so the notes that I wrote <laughs> are a little small and I don't have my readers. So lucky you. <laughs> um, when I got the call uh, that I was being inducted into the Texas Sports Hall of Fame, I felt like I was finally christened as a Texan. And I'm so proud of that. <laughs> I grew up in Southern California. Um, I got here, like they said, I, I got here before the trend of Californians coming to Texas. So give me that credit. Um, came to school here and really was, has only, I've only been gone one year to an, another institution for a real short period of time, but came right back to Texas. So I'm grateful for that. Selecting the school, selecting um, my college of choice, right? Um, you know, you've heard um, these women talk about the opportunity to have a college scholarship and uh, continue their uh, sports careers, I guess. And uh, without a scholarship, without the opportunity that was afforded to me to go to the University of Texas, um, I probably would have stayed in California, gone to a local junior college because that was really w what would have been afforded to me. So I am so grateful that, you know, I, I say that I won the lottery when I chose to go to the University of Texas. There was, a, there was maybe like three or four schools that I could really pick from back then. And um, at least I, I had the good fortune uh, to select what I believe was the right one. And my life has forever been changed. So um, very appreciated of my wisdom back then that I didn't know I had. Um, <laughs> But it, you know, there, there's always people that come before you, and the women and, and people that were in place at the University of Texas, uh, Donna Lopiano, Chris Blonsky, Jody Conrad, Dr. Sheila Rice, those people were the pioneers that made it possible for me to continue my career at the level that I would like to in terms of uh, swimming, but also get an education at one of the best institutions in the country, and I will again, forever be grateful. So thank you um, for that opportunity. I also, um, arriving at the 40 Acres, it's kind of a wild thing to imagine. You, you have teammates that come in from all over the country and all of a sudden, you know, they're the people that you experience life with. And for those four or five years that you're competing um, and working out, uh, uh, you, you develop a great friendship and you can't, I, I would have never made it through my four years um, without three of my roommates who happen to be here tonight. I'm not exactly sure where they are, but uh, JB, Laura, Carol, I love you guys. I, I truly would not have made it without you. 
The first day of practice, I show up, and I don't really know campus all that well, and we're going on a little run. <laughs> and I'm thinking, okay, great. He said, we're going to run to the golf course. And I'm like, okay, well, that's just got to be right around the corner. You know, like, it's, it's the golf course. It's got to be on campus, right? Well, it was about 25 blocks away, and then we had to run around it twice. So um, when, I, when I got to the golf course, everybody had gone around it twice. <laughs> And they were already headed back, and I'm thinking, wait a second. I mean, I'm hanging onto the back of my coach's T-shirt thinking, uh, I didn't join the track team. <laughs> um, but the good news was when we got back from the run, then we got to do our swim practice. So um, I was in for a, a, a ride. And when I, when I signed to go to the University of Texas, most of the people in my hometown uh, didn't give me a chance to make it a year. They were like, oh, she'll be back in no time. Cause I probably didn't have the greatest work ethic growing up. <laughs> I was tough. I worked hard when I wanted to. Um, but I learned a lot, and, and, and I, I own that. <laughs> but coming to the University of Texas, I had coaches who poured into me and allowed me to learn and understand and actually kind of um, encouraged me to be a student of the sport. And through their... Um, their knowledge and their willingness to teach and not be offended when I asked questions. Um, I became a coach and I, I, without that I, I would have never have even thought it possible just because there weren't very many women coaches out there as examples and the coaches I had were men but they were also encouraging to me that I could do something like that. So I appreciate that. Uh, coach Quick, the late Coach Quick has also been inducted into the, the Hall of Fame. So. Um, and then we, I have my family that's here. This is going to be the tough part. So my mom, sorry. <laughs> she was a swimmer, um, but obviously didn't have the same types of opportunities that I was afforded. And uh, Ozzie and Harriet, growing up, that's all I have to say. And um, really grateful for that, the, just the guidance the encouragement, you know, I think talked about, um, you know, giving you the tools but not pushing you and not making you do things, um, but getting you to understand it, what it takes to be great. Um, my brother John is here. He may say a couple of words, like a grunt or two every now and then. <laughs> um, not a big talker, but he was only a year and a half older than me, and a lot of people thought we were twins, which I know he hated, but I thought was awesome. <laughs> And um, I really learned a lot of competitive enough competitiveness through him. I, just, I always wanted to be playing with him and his friends, and I, I had to step up to the plate if I wanted to do that. And then my sister, um, Jody, <laughs> um, she came to Texas for a couple years and swam. And she, she's kind of the, the woman behind the scenes that I think always sometimes felt got overlooked, but because she was the baby, she got everything she wanted. Um, <laughs> But she did win the 500 free at the conference meet at the University of Texas. And later, I was going through our media guides, and they gave me credit for it. <laughs> so I thought that was awesome, too. But uh, <laughs> she does everything. She does it well. Uh, she's an amazing woman, an amazing mother. Um, and then I, I also have some other family here. My cousin Kim, shout out to you. Love you. I know you've been through a hard time. And um, I'm so grateful to have you here. Sam, Cindy, um, did, I, did I miss somebody? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Sorry. And then uh, uh, Cheryl Rydell, a coach of mine. We were, she was my assistant and stood by me through, through, a, lot, through a lot of uh, different things. If coaching was just coaching and getting people to swim fast, it would be easy. But uh, I should have gotten a psychology degree um, in order to to be the best that I could be in that but um, she was always there by my side and I appreciate that and last but not least definitely not least <laughs> probably the if my swimming career and my coaching career did not prepare me for the next challenge or journey in my life it did but not fully and um, at the Later on in my career, I adopted <laughs> my son, who came to me at 13 months old. He's now 11. <laughs> I 
hell on wheels, <laughs> but he's wonderful. He's got a bright future. He's going to give Vince a run for his money, I'm sure, one day. Um, but I want to say, too, um, that I'm so grateful that sport has also, and you've heard the testament here tonight from some people, that is, it's broken down a lot of barriers. And I'm grateful that my son, it doesn't depend on the color of his skin, um, he has opportunities afforded to him that wouldn't have been there had a lot of people not done a lot of hard work prior to that. So I'm grateful for that. Thank you all. I appreciate this.